On this episode of How To XRGB Mini, we are going to take a look at how to use your Frame Meister to get the best possible picture out of the Super Game Boy accessory for the Super Nintendo. First, you are going to need an original Super Nintendo. The smaller, redesigned system released in 1997 does not output RGB without modification. Next, you'll need an RGB SCART cable. I recommend using a cable with a separate composite sync line, rather than sync on composite. Thankfully, these are cheap and plentiful, and I purchased mine from retrogamingcables.co.uk. Finally, not all Super Nintendos are created equal. Some later revision Super Nintendos contain the one chip 03, which offers the sharpest picture possible. However, these systems must be modded to enable composite sync. For this video, I am using a slightly older Super Nintendo that does have some minor color bleeding, but works without any modification. Next, we'll need to access the Super Game Boy's menu by pressing the two shoulder buttons on the SNES controller. Then, we'll need to switch to the black border. With that out of the way, here are the settings that I use. As always, one of the XRGB Mini strong points are its handling of 240p content over SCART, and these settings should give you an excellent experience on the big screen. 